House Bill 1235 says a school cannot require children entering public or non-public schools or early childhood programs to get their vaccines before enrolling. Kelleland's Lauren Solik explains the measure and how a school nurse and parents are reacting. Molly Satter, the health services coordinator for the Sioux Falls School District, says the state currently requires a set of vaccinations at the kindergarten and sixth grade levels. There are only a couple exemptions to that law. So currently the, the South Dakota law allows a religious exemption and a medical exemption. Satter says she was surprised to see this bill introduced to the House. You know, our goal is always to follow the, the guidance of the the trusted health experts out there. When we look at the CDC, um, the state and the local health departments, American Academy of Pediatrics, um, they all um, point to the fact that research shows that um, immunizations are good for students to keep them healthy. Some Sioux Falls parents have concerns about House Bill 1235 and what could happen if kids aren't immunized. Kids pick up enough diseases the way it is at school. I mean, not diseases, but the flu and colds and pink eye and all that stuff now. So, you know, don't do that and they'll pick up some other things too. There is a widespread of diseases out there that I think is very important for our kids to be vaccinated from. Um, I'm also a nurse, so, um, you know, pneumonia, influenza, measles, mumps. Um, I know we don't see a whole of that of polio and stuff anymore, but I think it's very important to get your kids immunized, not only for them, but for the people around them. This bill, if passed, would make it a class, a class 1 misdemeanor for any educational institution, medical provider, or person to compel someone to receive immunizations. I reached out to the bill sponsor but have not heard back yet. If you would like to read House Bill 1235 for yourself, visit this story on Kelloland.com. All right, thanks a lot, Lauren.